support. The right show, please. Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Last pop analysis of the summer, and boy do we have a song to talk about today. Today we will be looking at WAP by Cardi B featuring Megan the Stallion. Cardi B. This marks the fourth time we're talking about Cardi B, the first three being... I don't dance now, I make money moves. Say I don't gotta dance, I make money. These girls like you, roll around with guys like me. And finally, since we talked about her last time, she has been quite the busy woman having done solo songs. Press, 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 press. Cardi don't need more press. Kill them all, put them to rest. Walk in. As well as collaborations. Yes. Ass up, face down. Megan the Stallion. Coming back to Megan the Stallion quite quickly as it has not been that long since we did I'm a savage, okay. classy, bougie, ratchet, okay. sassy, moody. In that short amount of time since we talked about her, she's managed to get one other song up on the charts, that being... I don't stand outside cause I'm too outstanding Cause the girls in the hood are always hard Every since it... Background WAP was released on August 7th of this year and charted two weeks after at number one As of the end of the month, it is still number one It is yet to be associated with any larger release But rumor has it that it is supposed to be on Cardi B's next studio album The song extensively Samples an aptly named song, that song being There's some whores in this house, there's some whores in this house, there's some whores in this house, there's some The sample actually lays the foundation for the entire song, which makes sense as it did the same thing in the original. Yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring up Because it is sampled so extensively, Frank Ski is credited as a writer. Speaking of credits, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion are joined by Ayo the producer and Keys, also known as Keys Baby. Oddly enough, this is the pair's second charting Cardi B song, as they both worked with Cardi B before when they did. Outside of that, James Foy the third, aka Keys, does have an additional charting credit, that being That's my mission. Cause in a rush, cause don't listen. I'm still trying to get mine as it and out. On the other hand, Austin Owens, aka AO the producer, does not have any other charting songs outside of Cardi B. WAP is released solely by Atlantic. Form. WAP is a hip hop song just over three minutes long in 4 4 time and 133 beats per minute. You'll notice I didn't say there was any sort of key, and that's because there are only ever three melodic notes in this entire song those being B, C, and D flat or C sharp. Three notes a key does not make, especially these three, as there's no standard key that actually has these three notes in them. It seems to tonicize B, but there are some sources that report it as C sharp or D flat major, so make of that what you will. The song opens with a sample and a bass, and we get a short little intro from Cardi B. I said certified free. Seven days a week. That then takes us into what can be described as the first chorus. Bring a bucket and a mop with this wet ass pussy. Following that, we get Cardi with the first verse. Beat it up, nigga, catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Followed by Megan with the second verse. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down inside of me. Quick yeah. jump out for you, let it get inside of me. Define normal convention, we then get Cardi again with the third verse. You got some money, then that's where I'm headed. Pussy A1, just like it's credit. Followed by Megan doing a fourth verse. If it don't hang, then he can't bang. You can't hurt my feelings, but I like pain. We then get an extrapolation from the chorus we heard earlier. Now from the top, make it drop. That's some wet ass pussy not Before finally doing a fade out to end the song Bass The only melodic instrument in the entire song Simply going B, C, and then D flat Or C sharp if you'd prefer It hits on beat 1 and 4 of the first bar Before hitting on beat 2 in the second bar And it simply repeats that ad nauseum in this house, there's some whores in this house, there's some whores in this house, there's some whores in this house. 
The only change that ever occurs in the bass is that at certain points it plays the notes for longer as opposed to the shorter ones we hear in the beginning. Sample. The sample is very much used as an instrument to hold the entire thing together, simply alternating between quarter notes and eighth notes. And boy, does this get stuck in your head very easily. Intro. The intro, done completely by Cardi B, minus that one ad lib that Megan Thee Stallion has at the end, is extremely syncopated, and you'll notice that throughout the entirety of this song. I said, certify free. Seven days a week. Wet ass pussy. Make that pullout game weak. <laughs> chorus. The chorus, again done completely by Cardi B, is even more simplistic and lacking any sort of syncopation, minus at the end of each phrase. Yeah, 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 you fucking with some wet ass pussy. The following phrase is essentially the same, minus some quick sixteenths in the beginning for some altered words, but again, that syncopation is reserved for the title of the song. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got. The second half of the chorus, which you only hear at the end of the song, has much higher energy, though very much reserves any sort of large syncopation for, again, the name drop of the song. Now from the top, make it drop, that's some wet ass pussy, now get a bucket and a mop, that's some wet ass pussy. The chorus pretty much just sticks to extremely simple rhythms, only doing syncopation to bring your attention as to what WAP actually stands for. I'm talking WAP, 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 that's some wet ass pussy, macaroni in a pot, that's some wet ass pussy, huh? Cardi B's verses. Cardi B opens her verse going back and forth between triplet figures and syncopated ones, and she'll do this for the entirety of the song given her flow. Beat it up, nigga, catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. When we get to the following phrase, though, she's much more focused on triplet figures, given there are some straight ones thrown in. Hop on top, I wanna ride. I do a giggle, what else is Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This pussy is wet, come take a dive. As we get to the second half of her first verse, her flow tends to lean more in favor of straight rhythms, minus one bar that is heavily emphasized and syncopated. Tie me up like I'm surprised. That's role play. I wear the skies. I want you to park that big Mac truck right in this little garage. As she closes out her first verse, though, she goes back to simply very straight rhythms. Make it cream, make me scream. I don't public, make the scene. I don't cook. I don't clean, but let Aye. me tell you, I got Aye. this ring. When Cardi comes in on the third verse, she returns to going back and forth between triplet and straight rhythms. Look, I need a hard hit, I need a deep stroke, I need a henny drink, I need a weed smoke, not a garden snake, I need a king cobra with a hook in it, hope it lean over. He got this then transitions into completely triplet figures. He got some money, then that's where I'm headed. Pussy A1, just like his credit. He got a beer, well, I'm trying to wet it. I let him taste, now he diabetic. Once we get to the second half of this verse, though, she goes back and forth again between the triplet and straight rhythms. I don't wanna spit, I wanna go, I wanna gag, I wanna choke, I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging the back of my throat. As opposed to how she ended her first verse though, in this one she still goes back and forth but much more heavily emphasizes the triplet figures, as opposed to the straight ones. My hegem is fire, Bunani the sunny is going and drying, it's coming outside, y'all running yeah. that down, the cuz behind me, I spit on his mic and I heat on a sami. Yana. Megan the Stallion's verses. Megan the Stallion's verses are quite different from Cardi B's in that they are almost exclusive exclusively very straight and relentless and very quick rhythms. That and she has ad-libs that she does. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down the side of me, quick yeah. jump out for you, let it get inside of me, I tell yeah. them where to put it, never tell them where I'm about to be, I run down on them before I have a nigga running me. Given just because that they're straight rhythms though doesn't mean she can't experiment with them using quarter note, eighth note, and sixteenth note figures and combining them at numerous points. Talk your shit, bite your lip, ask for a call while you ride that dick, you really ain't never got him fucking for a thing, he already made his mind up before he came. As opposed to the relentless opening as we get to the the second half of her first verse, she chooses to focus exclusively on quarter note and eighth note rhythms, but she picks up on the syncopation of the title of the song that Cardi B emphasized in the very beginning. Now get your boots, hang your coat, fuck this wet ass pussy. He bought a phone just for pictures of this wet ass pussy. Closing out the second verse, she simply continues those rhythmic trends. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass pussy. Now make 
make it rain if you want to see some wet ass yeah. pussy. Moving on to the final verse, which is actually a whole phrase shorter than the rest, Megan opens it the same way with these relentless 16th note runs, given there are more 8th notes in this one. Yeah, Anna, I'm a freak bitch, handcuffs, leashes, switch my wig, make him feel like he's cheating, put him on his knees, give him something to believe in, never lost a fight, but I'm looking for a beat. And following that, she then becomes extremely syncopated for almost the entirety of this phrase. In the food chain, I'm the one that eat ya. If he ate my ass, he's a bottom feeder. Big D stand for big demeanor. I can make you bust before I ever meet ya. She continues with that heavy syncopation to then close out the final verse. If it don't hang, then he can't bang. You can't hurt my feelings, but I like pain. If he fuck me and ask who's is it when I ride the dick, I'ma spell my name. Ah. Despite the fact that this song has no functional harmony or melody, it is still extremely catchy and has caused quite an uproar among listeners, both positive and negative, due to its very explicit lyrics. Given male rappers have been doing this for quite some time, so I see no reason why female rappers can't. And honestly, if you have a problem with that, I believe Cardi B will simply direct you to her wet ass pussy. Make that pull out game. Yeah, 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 you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Obviously, the song is quite explicit considering WAP stands for wet ass pussy. But honestly, I prefer that to the censored version, which is titled Wet and Gushy, which is arguably much worse. Now, from the top, make it drop. That's some wet ass pussy. Now, get a bucket and a mop. That's some wet ass pussy. I'm talking WAP, WAP, WAP. That's some wet ass pussy. Macaroni in a pot. That's some wet ass pussy. Huh. 